So the barriers to more widespread testing have to do with the sheer number of colorectal cancer patients diagnosed each year in the United States. Currently, um, the tumors that have been recommended um, for germline genetic testing are ovarian and pancreatic, which have about a third as many cases per year as colorectal, and the prognosis is much poorer. So there also aren't a lot of uh, millions or of survivors who would also be eligible for genetic testing if this policy got enacted, right? So if we decided starting today that all colorectal cancer patients should have germline genetic testing, it won't only apply prospectively to people diagnosed with colorectal cancer this year, but to all of the million survivors out there who never got offered this in the first place, which is a logistical challenge, I'll admit. Um, there aren't a, a, a ton of genetic counselors like myself out there. Um, and so we're going to have to get creative and think of better ways to do this at scale um, so that um, people can benefit. But I don't think... Um, so, you know, what it comes down to is just because it's hard to do doesn't mean we shouldn't do it if it's the right thing to do. And I feel like it's the right thing to do.